Hey there, I'm Callie. Welcome to Calmero. Today we're going to be making a classic cocktail called French 75, which is named after some French gun or something, I think. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to teach you how to make it, how we make it. It's an old enough cocktail that there's a lot of versions running around right now, uh, but ours, we think, is a pretty good one. So the cocktail is going to be built in a champagne flute. Uh, I've got some ice in this one to get cooled off, or you can keep it in the fridge. Something to chill it down so your cold cocktail stays cold. And it's a shaken cocktail, so we're going to build it right in this tin. We've got a uh, jigger, a couple of strainers. I like to double strain this one because the ice crystals from a shaken cocktail can make your bubbles kind of fizz and act funny. And it's just pretty when it's all, when it's all clear and filtered. Um, I have a lemon and a channel tool so I can garnish this with a nice lemon twist. And for ingredients, I've just got three uh, gin, lemon juice, and simple syrup. So we're gonna use Sun Liquors Juniper 8 for our gin, one of our standbys at a local Seattle company. Some fresh squeezed lemon juice because fresh squeezed is the answer. And some simple syrup. So just a one to one ratio of sugar and water, heat it up, get it to dissolve, cool it back down, simple syrup, bam, easy. Uh, and then I've got some bubbles, which Chris is going to help me with later. So first, we'll start by adding one ounce of gin to our shaker tin. We're going to add 0.75 ounces of our fresh squeezed lemon juice. And 0.5 ounces of simple syrup. Now, as always, if you feel a need to adjust these ratios, go for it. If you want to use like a keto-friendly alternative to sugar, go for it. Uh, do whatever you want to do. Ours is actually a little on the drier side, so more lemon, less simple than a lot of standard recipes. Um, but you do you. Um, and then we're going to add ice and shake it up. Good little shake there. Dump out our ice in the flute, which is much easier than getting it in the flute in the first place. Remember, we're going to double strain this one. You don't have to. I prefer it this way. Now, when you get to the point of adding bubbles, you can use any sort of bubbles that you prefer. Um, remember, this is a cocktail, so you want to use something that's like mixing caliber. But as we always believe, if you put finer ingredients into a cocktail, you're going to get a finer cocktail. Um, so I tend to prefer calling in a big, strapping, handsome lad to open my Louis Roterer when I make a champagne cocktail. So we're just going to pour a little bit of this in to top off our cocktail carefully so it doesn't bubble over because if it does then you lose champagne and that is egregious of course plus you want to maintain the carbonation as much as possible then we're going to garnish with a beautiful lemon twist I always like to peel our twists or peels over the drink because when you're peeling you are releasing a lot of zest and you want to capture that zest to get more flavor in your cocktail if you want more or less zest you can choose to drop the twist or peel in the drink or leave it out in this case we'll drop it in just like so this cocktail once upon a time was traditionally served on the rocks in a larger wine glass um, but I think that this presentation is a little cleaner. Um, this is utterly enjoyable. It's kind of a riff on a spritz in a way. I mean, it's bubbly, but it does have the gin, so it packs a little more punch. But it's an easy drinker, full of vitamin C, absolutely delightful. Ladies and gentlemen, French 75. Cheers.